excited <laughs> to be talking to such musical, we're amazing talents. Very talent. happy to be here on the master class, on the yeah. film yeah. companion master class. Master class, yes. <laughs> no, also really happy because we never get to hang out. I mean, we always yeah, make plans. True. Amit and I have made plans on several occasions. Rat ko three baje milte. Never happens. Never happens. There you go. Thanks. There thanks you to you. <laughs> so, guys, first of all, I have this fantasy um, that people who create music never get uh, bored or sad or. Lonely even because you just inspire yourself. No, 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 sad and lonely are songs. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> it's a so song you, situation. <laughs> so you inspire yourself with your art because अगर मतलब दुखी हो तो गाना ही गालो. Is that like how real life works, or am I just totally off? No, I must admit that you know what's happened with me is I don't know what happened. It's like a like a thing that kicks in. Sometimes I'm in like a huge conflict with some problem or the other. and my mind is going like maybe that guitar the pickup should i change should i <laughs> that chord was very nice what of that pedal which i'm going to use my mind goes into that zone completely so it does it's it. fantastic yeah. so yeah. you guys are just happier than us <laughs> no 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 emotional turmoil is is the fodder for for great music so if you have that you're lucky like i've actually had conversations with musicians where we discuss whether we screw up our own lives just so we can write songs no yeah yeah it's true anyone who writes songs for themselves has definitely felt that at some point and there like, are times where we are sad like really lonely not lonely but sad and we have to create music that is like a, a happy. Like song, a happy 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 song happy happy dance songs are dance songs are suddenly you entering yeah. with a mindset which is like completely disturbed and then you entering the studio and then suddenly playing a <laughs> beat to 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 but how yeah, said that it's like the, the moment happy. you start that you get into that zone yeah, you get yeah, by the end of the day you're happy but yeah. music kind of heals it heals that yeah it does yeah it heals it it gets you back into a a zone which is away from reality yeah. it just takes you in a different mindset altogether and makes you happy but you know film music is such a unique blend especially in india it's 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 of course cinema it's poetry it's music uh, and i want to talk a little bit about how you guys actually create you know ar rahman had said somewhere that uh, a tune should come like uh, as as effortlessly as a the breeze shaking the leaves on a tree i mean Is that how tunes come, or do you guys sit there in front of these blank screens with instruments, just struggling? How does it work? Both. It's not pretty much okay. So <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's like someone said. I, I think it was. Uh, I don't know if it was Ernest Hemingway or somebody said that. But essentially, you spend your entire time waiting for that time. Yeah. All the work, all the struggle, all of that is just you're just waiting for the moment, and when it happens, it just happens. And I'm going to tell so, you a very funny story. That when we were composing for Karan Johar's film, Kabi Abida Na Kya Naam. Karan said, "Let's go to Goa." You know, so he booked the holiday village, damn sweet, you know, lovely rooms. We had a room with all the gear set up, and we were there for like five days. You know, so, and Javed Sir had come with us, and it was fantastic. We got so laid back; we couldn't come out with a single tune, not a single tune. <laughs> Loy and I would be sitting in jamming blues while Shankar was watching TV. You know, and we were really feeling terrible. That you know, man, what are we going to do? We've brought us all the way here. He's spending all this money. But that never works, man. No, but it, yeah, when you, eventually, when you, can, when you kind of plan <laughs> yeah. it, no, it, it never works. works. But eventually, yeah. it did work actually because you know, I was looking through my mobile phone. I have a lot of ideas that I record on my mobile phone, and I came across the idea for Mithwa, you know, which I recorded in the back of a taxi, and that kind of set it off. You know, you just needed that one trigger, and then before yeah, you knew, so we had the whole. Yeah, so technically, it's the back of the taxi where the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Not in the five yeah. stars. Yeah. So Go back on. of the taxi inspires us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but is there is do you sit every day to. Work at it or or not? Is it like we are? We have a very amazing story. We once decided. So in 15 years, we literally have not taken a vacation. Okay? Why? So two years ago, it's now been. We decided. Okay, we're going to take two months off. No, that was like, written down on the very serious. Very serious. It was in our schedule from the 19th of November to the 19th of January. We're not coming to work. On the 21st of November, we were in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't know what to do. After two days, you're like, dude, where do we go? What do we do? So, you know, the thing is, it 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 feels empty also at the same time. You know, you you kind of we do this yeah. like pretty much every day of our lives. We are creating something or meeting people, discussing music, this and that. And suddenly, a vacation plan doesn't happen. No, <laughs> but so this structured doesn't happen. Structured doesn't happen. For me, what happens? I have, most of the tunes come to me when I'm while I'm sleeping. What? Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah. Manja, up with the tune Manja is when I was I wake up with that. I woke up with that tune. That happens very often with me. So it's just somewhere brewing. Yeah, somewhere brewing. So I keep my phone next to me when I am sleeping every day. <laughs> just to and then yeah, it happens any time. It's got you know what to happens. People who are like family who are staying with us, people who kind of they see us as a very different 
breed of animals. Breed of animals. <laughs> like three in the morning, suddenly sitting on the piano, and just this tune. <laughs> Why is this major co- minor chord? This chord that. What's wrong? But that's the way it happens. Music My wife was psyched the first time it happened. I yeah. woke up and started humming. <laughs> what did she say? There was not good. Yeah, there's the strangest things that can happen yeah. from the composition. Yeah. Like even for Bhag Milka Bhag, there's a song called Old Rangarez. Shankar came up with a little idea and he sent it to me by WhatsApp. So I played his WhatsApp melody there and recorded it on the phone and I extended the melody and I sent it back to him. <laughs> He again sang something, sent it back to me. By the end of like half an hour, we had the whole song and about like some 30 WhatsApp messages. The entire song was composed. So like you should be pretty glad that WhatsApp is now in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also, you know, also, yeah, it's a weird habit. But that's 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 exactly what like Vishal and I sometimes land up in the studio, maybe getting an idea each and then suddenly putting it together means it was meant for each other. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's bizarre. It's sometimes. quite a bizarre thing that spending like almost 16, 17 years together and then. Going to the studio and hey, I have an idea, I have an idea. It yeah, just works. This it is like, but don't, you guys, don't you guys also feel that so- best songs happen like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. yeah always. 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 And, uh, and you know who told me this? Timbaland. We were working in LA, we were, we'd gone to do this track and, and it got into one tailspin because of like the label and just various different, like we want more Indian mm. influence, this, that, whatever, so on and so And he was like, how long? Timbaland literally said, how long you guys been working on this? So I was like, two days. He said, if it takes me more than three hours, I just trash it. Trash it. Start again. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, but the yeah. magic is created in those that few minutes. That's it. <laughs> no, so I asked ARR, I said, so what do you do when the breeze doesn't come to shape the leaves? You know, like, the, is there a sort of composer equivalent of writer's block? And he said, uh, I pray and then I fast. So he's clearly not thrashing tunes. But if it doesn't come to you guys, you just say, okay, this idea is gone and we well, move yeah, on. You just sit in the studio and everyone's to so, be relaxed. There's, there's actually noise from some jazz. Earlier, earlier in something. life, I think, I, I don't know if this happened with you guys, but when you used to compose something, you used to get very attached to it. There's some very close attachment to it earlier in the days. And then when someone would come and say, yeah, this tune is okay, it's not, mm-hmm. it's not good. You wouldn't agree. You used to uh, get, shattered, you, you just you shattered. Shattered. get shattered. But after, after a few years, what happens is, you don't like this? Don't worry. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Make another that's true. No, because because <laughs> it's actually a management principle. Creativity is a habit. It's not. It's not. Uh, I don't. I don't believe in 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 you know juju or magic or stuff Spark like that. Spark from heaven type. No, I believe that it's a habit that you train yourself. Your brain, to do. You train and your the brain. The more you do yeah. it. Yeah. The more habitual it becomes, and if you take a break, you find you actually find that you've got rusty. So you have to get back into, get back the, to it. into the, yes, sir, sir. the spin and it, cycle. And the whole journey makes you so strong, no, that you don't like this. I can make you a better one. Come on. Mm. So there are times where, where where the person likes it, and we tell them, no, no, this is not working. We'll do another one. It happens all the time yeah, because yeah. you know you'll do another. One. But is there a moment when it just doesn't come? When you're just sitting yeah, there, yeah, I yeah, believe yeah. That. That, does, that, that does happen. Yeah, it does happen. So there is a composer block. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, yeah, hundred yes, percent. But can luckily here with the three, there's three of us, so one guy can spark off an idea. So what do so, you do, Mr. Solo? I I just chill. I don't I don't at that time I don't work. I don't think about music. I do something else. Either I play some game. I play with my son. I just don't <laughs> do music at all. Yeah, but it's true. Your subconscious works harder than you. The, so. I think that disconnect also disconnect really helps. Music, yeah. It helps a lot. And you come back to it fresh, man. Okay. Like just like most people think that we just hang out in a coffee shop in Bandra. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Every time there's every time there's that sort of sort of you know time, we just go out there, we chill, get some coffee, talk nonsense for a couple hours. By the time you come back, you're done. That helps. We, right? we yeah. actually really go helps. to the studio, yeah. and the first thing we tell each other is, "Chal, kaam pe jaate." <laughs> and kaam pe jaate means go to the coffee shop and sit and hang <laughs> and do nothing. <laughs> but that's but also where a lot of the tunes get written on the phone, you know. So. Yeah. So it's just anywhere. Yeah. Anytime, anywhere. And and do, does the fact that there is two of you, there's three of you, you know, and in, in, in Hindi films, it has mostly been duos, right? So is it hard, Amit, to just be a solo act? Yeah, it is difficult sometimes. I do you miss, miss like yeah. someone? <laughs> also because he doesn't get to do the good cop, bad cop thing that we get to do. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, you guys just have this down pat, like... Yeah, we have it. We, I mean, like, you instantly know who's the good cop or bad cop on the day. <laughs> Yeah, for me it is, but I feel sometimes I, I, I need some assistance, some help. But then I'm used to it. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this being alone in my, sp- in, my, in my space. And I do program. I do programming alone by myself. So that kind of helps me a lot. That it's like a, you know, programming for me is is the break away from. Is a break away, and it's a th- it's therapeutic. Yeah. You know, it's like a therapy to me. 
But but when there are two or three, uh, what happens when you just violently disagree? We like, do, of course. I've left Shankar as a lawyer about twenty times. <laughs> Already. Yeah. And for this directly, though, there's a composition. I just because see, I tend to be very objective. Music is such a subjective thing that you can say everything is fantastic, but it takes one. Luckily, with the three of us, there's one person who says, "No, I think it's crap." And mm-hmm. you know, I can do that. And there was a fight, so I said, "I'm leaving." Shank- <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, "I said, I'm leaving Shankar Esam Roy right now." So Zoya was sitting there. Leave after this. Film. Let's, let's finish this film. Actually, yeah, Zoya. So I've done that many times. Couple of times, I've taken my bag and gone home. And lawyers come to see me in the evening. I think you've done this many times. Many times. Many times. Wow. I'm like, who are you going to leave, Amit? Have you, you guys are no no we are there's a roma consistently happening that both of us are yeah. sitting also sitting far away now <laughs> yeah, the body language but, but imagine it's even, your mark even, even the crew knows ke are log bahut nazdeek baithe thoda dur bitha lo but i think that is there and i told vishal so many times let's officially announce a split hmm. so we can do a reunion tour <laughs> but we often we fight every day i mean shirin is our my manager is my witness here you know she sometimes gets so worried you guys are okay no <laughs> hope nothing's wrong I've nice. stormed out of the studio. I'm walking around Yashraj, taking walks while these guys are working. <laughs> Lois put on his headphones and sulking. We three of us are not talking But to each other all the time. All the time, every day. Musicians are essentially temperamental people, yeah. so that sensitive kind of stuff will happen. Temperamental, sensitive. Yeah. The words. Yeah. I mean, it will happen. And also, these conflicts are maybe. Mostly for the song and not of course, for any, yeah. any, right. not any personal, personal yeah. reason. Yeah. Never, yeah. never for a personal reason. Always about care. Yeah, this can be achieved. Yeah, and place. for the betterment of the song. Yeah, and as a team, when you. Go through all of that, and then you come up with a song that you really like. That kind of fills up the room. Correct, you guys correct, know, yeah, yeah. know what correct, I'm talking correct. about. Then suddenly you're like, all of that was worth it, and all of that was irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Then you love each other again. Yeah, it's literally then it's the slow motion run. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the studio. Thank you. Done. The piche santur bajra ek dar kidaar. Correct. You know that cracking it is the main thing. When you crack a tune, it's just ah. like something magical. Yeah. Like when we did Kal Ho Na Ho, the title song. Loy and uh, Nikhil went to this place called German Bakery in Pune. You know, they went for breakfast early. I said, I'm not waking up so early. You guys go. So then Nikhil was saying that you know, on this like a piece that will play right through the film, and Loy just sang the da 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 in his head. You know, so he came back. I came out from the gym and I was going to the room, the suite which we'd booked for with all the gear there, and I heard this piano playing because he'd left the door open. I got goosebumps. You know, goose is goose is sweet. So anyway, and I went in there. This was like a magical moment. He was doing da 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 da, and I picked up my guitar and I did da 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 do da da da, and immediately Shankar walked in with Javed sir, and he did da 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 do de da da. That whole town got goosebumps now, really. And then Javed sir came in, and he heard this song and he said, "Oh my God, I'm actually stressed." So for what? He said, "This melody is so simple. I have to." Keep my words as simple. You know? mm. He took 25 days to write that song. Wow! You know that was an experience, yeah. and that song yeah. even today is you know really yeah, holds yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know. True. Everyone yeah. involved with that film, no offense, but when everyone involved with that film dies, that song will play on television. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Just to put it out. Yeah. yeah. Hard beat. Everyone. <laughs> yeah. Who's going to play when he dies? Sheila Ki Jawani. <laughs> I can hope it might be a lie. Let's hope so. But you know what? I'll settle for Sheila. <laughs> I love Sheila. I have oh, to say, yeah. it's a personal favor. What are you going to do? Right? Yeah, that yeah. song is going to play under you. As long <laughs> as when we die, the Zeri Le from Rock On doesn't play. <laughs> <laughs> Amit, why are you choosing Zeri. tunes? <laughs> I think emotional attack. Yeah. Right. When you die. <laughs> I have done a lot of attempts on people. Autobiographical. Yeah, autobiography. Yeah. That's a great track, though, man. I remember when it came out; it was just so fresh. Yeah, it just freaked out. Thanks. I still don't know who the voices are. One of them was you, for sure. One, One me and Amitabh. Amitabh. That's what two of us. Did Anurag sing on it? No. No, no. Oh, it was Amitabh. That's right. That's me and Amitabh. Man, man. <coughs> and Amitabh never wanted he because Amitabh, you know, he wanted always wanted to be a singer. Yeah, yeah. And he came down to Lucknow to become a singer. And this was the first song that was coming out. So he said, No, 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 I don't want to. Give my name out on this th- song because he has, because he had tweaked his voice. It was not his real voice. So what do we do? What do what name? So he came up with this name called Let's name it Band. Uh, then it gave the name Bandmaster Rangila and Rasila. <laughs> so seriously, what happened? We that name credit went, and the whole media after that is searching for searching for Bandmaster band Rangila. <laughs> <laughs> and just trust me, and they are asking Anurag, calling Anurag. Anurag is lying. They are somewhere. They came from Arunachal. Uh, Arunachal, कहीं से आए थे, गाना गाके चले गए. It's a music magic story. 
घर आके चले गए बस उनके पास उसका ये नहीं आया तो वी हैव टू बी इन सिंक विद द स्टोरी तो आई आस्ट अनुराग बिफोर एंड गिविंग गिविंग एन इंटरव्यू आपने क्या बोला है हम लोग भी वही बोलना है तो ना मैंने ऐसा सब बोला है तो वी ऑल्सो फॉलो दैट स्टोरी सो दैट स्टोरी वॉज आउट देयर फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम लॉन्ग बैंड मास्टर वॉज आउट देर फॉर सम टाइम एंड मच लेटर वैन अभी अमिता आप गॉड अ प्रॉपर सॉन्ग सिंग I am. <laughs> I am or some. I don't know. Iktara, I guess. No, so then he revealed that I am Rasila. I am the Rasila. He sang for us also in Chennai Express. Really? Yeah. Tera rasta me chodi. Oh. But I tell you, sir, Rasila. That's why he got him to sing. I tell you something. Assuredly, <laughs> that this is like you know, this is factual. That the funniest stories in the film industry will come from the music composers. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The experiences that we have is something else. It's really something else. We met yeah. all so kinds of people. You're, you're disconnected from the sarji sarjiness of it. <laughs> Right. I'll tell you so one you story. Sarji, Sarji. <laughs> yes. We were we were asked to <laughs> Shankar uh, and Shankar and I went to Raj Kumar Studios to meet this filmmaker, and he was reading a script out, and he was acting it out, and going and pushing himself against the wall. And I I know who this is. I don't I don't. And then he had two bunnies in the front. One had like those boot the laddus, you know those I know the the til ka laddus, and one was a lovely Maharashtrian uh, poha chura, you know. So now we are listening to this guy say we can't laugh because you know so you know what we did we were stuffing our face with laddus so that we keep our mouth shut right through the thing you know in order not to laugh he was acting on his film <laughs> going and falling down on the sofa and stuff that so we finished all his laddus all his chuda and after that told him we didn't want to do his film. <laughs> <laughs> Disconnected from the sarji sarjiness. Because uh, are you part of the system? We are, no, we are in our studio, no. So we get to live like normal so life. So physically, even you're you're like editors in that sense. You're in that room and you're creating. We are not on the set. We don't have to do the the. I mean, for whatever it's worth, everyone at this table is is fairly you know reasonably you know there. So. Um, so you don't have to really do the schmoozing. You don't have to do the. But you're right. There, there aren't people like that anymore. No, 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 no. Are you please, me? Please, please. No, like, uh, yeah, there still. Are. Yeah, I'm talking about generation. You know what's disappeared from the music scene is the, and as you get, as you get more and more well known, it it kind of drops away. But in the initial stages, I don't know what happened to you guys. We used to get the maddest people at the studio. Yeah. The maddest, like the lyricist. I've had a lyricist. I'm not kidding. Okay. Very Sanjida, crisp starch shirt, grey suitcase on his lap. You know, with the the ones with the initials. Crack. His hair was orange. His beard was orange, right? Senior guy, and I was singing some scratch or something, and suddenly Shaker Shaker said, "I'll just handle this, or whatever." He goes out to meet the guy. Comes running in. Dude, you have to see this. Okay, <laughs> so so I come out, and I'm sitting across this very serious gentleman, and he reads me these lyrics. I kid you not, with this expression: <clears throat> Ding dong, ding dong, dada. Ding dong, ding dong, dada. तेरे इश्क ने मुझको मारा डिंग डोंग डिटरली फेल ऑफ द लाइव ऑन द ग्राउंड आफ्टर दैट आई सेट वो दूसरा गाना भी सुना दो आप जो सुना रहे थे सेम फेस ना डिस्को 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 तुम ही बताओ प्यार करूं मैं किसको डिस्को ऐसे मेरे गाने पे मत जाएगा मेरे 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 लिरिक्स लिरिक्स मैं सिंगर नहीं गाने पे मत जाएगा टू टेल यू वन मोर रियली फनी एक्सपीरियंस यू And this guy, producer, came to meet us, and he's saying, "You know, this couple, two old guys, you know, like gold rimmed glasses." And we said, "Man, these guys are so big. We didn't know. We just started here. We don't know who's the thing." So he's saying, "You know, I'm making a film based on the life of Shakira. It's like a musical, and it's very damn good, and all." And he's saying he's made one film earlier called "Barsat Ki Ek Raat" or something, which Shankar thought was some famous film called "Barsat Ki." Yeah, yeah, that's the Bachchan film. Now this turn, he's saying, "I've got the poster to show you." So <laughs> Lloyd sitting on the other side, he can't understand what's going on. We better leave him out of this. He sits that side. So Shankar and I are sitting, and he opens this poster out for us and gives us this poster to see. Or oh, like we could see on the poster with two breasts in the middle of the whole poster. It was some pornographic film this guy had oh, made, sure. and he's reciting us a story, and the two of us are hiding behind the poster, <laughs> cracking up completely. Yeah, we can't put the poster down because he shouldn't see us laughing. Oh, God. I think earlier, <laughs> earlier when we all think we, when we all started off, we made a lot of unique. Character. characters yeah. in 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 this business but, but it's more corporate now na actually no, no, it's just that as you get as you get sort of more and more well known i guess the 
completely out there ones kind of stop approaching. It's really sad because we had one guy do the Tanda in our studio. Oh, and man. we'll never get that again. You know. Oh. That, 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 what do you mean? Which that, that visual, I I can't tell you. That guy actually did this and started going, his, moving his head like and that. His eyes bug. He went mad. <laughs> then we finally gave him one. Yeah, you don't see the white shoes anymore. Which is really I believe sad. we gave him Shridhar's number. Shridhar's so number at Sony. Like yes, well, <laughs> in Cobb. <laughs> Sorry, Shridhar. Oh, oh, there's one thing I don't know if you remember this, but we were at Yashraj. We were working out of adjacent rooms, yeah. and uh, so we met in that little cubicle that they have for lunch or whatever. And we're sitting like this. So this is Esan's phone, which it actually is, and my phone. And my phone rings, and there's this singer who's quite well known. So, one name. Hey man, I saw you. I, you know, I sang your song at my concert last night, and it was amazing, and so on and so forth. And we got to do this again, and it's like team or whatever, so on and so forth. So I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, whatever. How about the phone? Six seconds later, Esan's phone rings. The same dude. I remember that. <laughs> same dude, same conversation. Oh. <laughs> so he's like a Jochi. He's palming <laughs> to everybody. But that guy actually ended his his whole thing simply by doing by over PRing it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Would. There is I, such a I will, thing. I would now not want to know who that is. <laughs> you know, that, I'm certain that, you know. When, when we were mixing Sultan, uh, Sultan's music, the Law and I were standing outside. You guys were working on something. So we were, there are two studios, like one on the ground floor, one on the top floor. So, so Law and I were standing out, and suddenly this guy came to me and said, You're doing a picture with your brother. There's a song I have. And I could see Law just staring at him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and staring at him like, what the? <laughs> And he's like, dupatta, dupatta, dupatta. So I was patiently listening because I've gone through this entire process before in my life. I've heard all these things. So I said, "Ha, very good, very good, all the best." Oh Isn't that? Of course. Lost face and looked at me. Scatting was quite nice. <laughs> scatting. <laughs> scatting. I take it these things don't happen uh, to you. Uh, it hasn't happened to me yet. Oh my! Uh, but I would love to there, because this is. Please contact Amit Trivedi for all psychosis. He <laughs> needs to experience all this. <laughs> okay, tell me this. You know, um, Hans Zimmer after Batman vs Superman, he actually gave said in an interview that I'm not doing any more superhero movies. He said I've retired from the superhero genre. He did the Nolan trilogy. He did Spider-Man two. Then he did this one. He said I can't find a new language. And so often, all of you have faced the same situation: the item song, the love thing, ladka aur ladki mil rahe hain. How do you find a new language? I mean, do you? Uh, what do you look into? The the key is to uh, I think fight the uh, the the urge to do what you've done before. So whatever it is, like you'll find Amit has has reinvented the item song space several times. Shankar mm. Hassan, we've done it several times. We've done it several times, and uh, that's actually not a problem. I think that we face so much over here. I mean, yeah, obviously you don't want to get repetitive, but you see, I mean, we have, and it's mad actually. So we have all the influences of the whole world, including yeah. Mr. Zimmer, and we have all the influences of India. Right. So our stash, so to speak, is limitless. You know, so that I don't think is really a problem. We have like. A, a larger bank in that way, in terms of. But Vishal, situations, situations are so similar, no? Because yeah, yeah. there is the romantic. No, what side. happens? There is. Uh, uh, what happens when we kind of scan this entire process? No, we kind of always feel that. ये तो पहले हो चुका है. ये हम लोग नहीं किए. We also have done this. So naturally, we don't even have to discuss it. Naturally, whatever comes out will be something fresh, because we know right. we've done this thing before. We know we've tried this thing before. So our thing is always trying to do new structures, new format, new kind of. Sonically thinking, what can happen with a and song? And also, there's another, there's another out that we have, which, which uh, mm. you can go all the way cheesy, and it becomes fun. You know what I'm saying? Which Mr. Zimmer can't do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can, we can, we can parody okay. our own stuff, yeah. and it goes to the, it goes to the next level. You know, sometimes that's fun as well. So you, you have, do that? Yeah, of course, of course we do it. Everybody does it. Everybody, you just take it to the next level. Like it's, uh, say for example, for Baby Ko Base Pasand Hai in Sultan. I actually sat with my watchman in my building and heard all his Haryani songs to hear what kind of music they listen oh, to. Oh wow! You know what I'm saying? And the, there's a cheese to the sound which he'll know, he will know. But the a listener won't hear it. You know what I'm saying? Which which we did very deliberately. Right. It's playing at a small town wedding in Haryana. So how do you what do you do to make it a little bit different from everything else? So you've got like quirky lyrics, you've got a crazy hook or whatever. You've got like a like a, a bass drop coming in or whatever. But but also you've got the influence of that watchman's phone. You know what I'm saying? Which Mr. Zimmer may not have access to. 
<laughs> but as he said correctly that musically there is lot to do yeah what limitations might come for lyricists because they, there's often there's hook line that up there to yeah. keep i was it. asking yeah. shankar before ki hook, hook line hai kya is, what is a hook line hook hook is basically what people would sing in that song basically. like what's, what's what's the is a so it used line. to be that the entire sign or the mukra or the top of the song or the head of the song used to be the hook right so people would sing the entire verse the mm. first verse now what happens is there's a first verse leading up to one oh, thing one landing uh, for example sorry, where's the party tonight so uh, yeah. it's a time so, so earlier it used to be if you hear all the old songs mm-hmm. na not more than two lines now there is a start kya gaane ka uske baad cross line cross kya cross line kya how does the cross lead you into the hook line you can't explain cross cross line, line is like a people who haven't lived know. cross line it's part of the verse <laughs> it's what leads up to the what pre chorus pre chorus what leads up to the main yeah. hook line basically and but the hook line is not the chorus no so So the western songwriting is a lot less intricate. You have an you have Verse, an A part, you have a B part, you have an A part, you have a B part, you have a bridge and you're done. Then you're done. Pretty much, mm-hmm. right? In in India in the film circuit you have an A part, a B part and a hook in the top of the song. Uh, then there's then another D part. There's a D then part. Then there's a D part. Then yeah. there's a bridge and there's But now the new thing is put a E part also <laughs> towards <laughs> the end of the yeah, song. Yeah yeah yeah. Koda or the koda 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 koda. Koda. So yeah. when a guy says when you're creating let's mm. say and and a you've got to of course get into the headspace of the characters and the narrative and the world yeah. of the film mm. then you also need this hook line then you also have the lyricist whose words have to match the caliber of your tune and then you have the producer and the music company head um how do you negotiate all of this to create something that um, you know shankar said some somewhere that it has to satisfy your soul and the rickshaw wala <laughs> yeah that's a good one that is that's so good good one. that is absolutely right how do you that do it yeah, that's, i think that's the most that's important thing is first you kind of need to have fun with what you what you are doing, doing yeah what you are doing if you have fun with it and you feel something good about it the natural thing is going to be the opposite person is going to like it mm. and then later it just keeps on following that you know the, the basic process of kind of songwriting to a production thing to a sonically how it sounds sometimes the way you imagine a song might just completely mm. change yeah, because of what the director wants yeah. yeah but if there's a process <laughs> do you guys do you guys suggest your own lyrics someone do you say ki like i know emotional atyachar anurag called you and said uh-huh. ki just write this down and now right, right. make a tune for it mm. uh, but do you suggest your own lyrics and like like this man with disco 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 if somebody <laughs> like this shows up but you know what i really hats off to that guy that when you guys did the disco track na we didn't know it was going to be so big <laughs> <laughs> that and that ding dong thing also went my dong yeah. the song yeah, I, I, I don't remember idea. who did it but uh, there was one ding dong ding, ding, ding dong baby sing song oh, okay. so he was ahead of his time <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that happens very often. Like uh, in the song "Kajare," uh-huh. Shankar just sang it rough and sent it to you know before we sent it to Gulzar Sahib. He said, "What do I sing here? What do I sing?" Kajare, Kajare. He just sang that, and that became the song. Gulzar Sahib had that. You know, he was hip enough just to realize that that's something that would work, and he kept. But it. Gulzar Sahib told me a mad story about that as well. He said he was working with Panchamna once, and Panchamna came to him with a tune in which the dummy lyrics were. I don't remember exactly what song it was. I wish I did. But he said, "So and so, bhokri ka dood pite hai." Bhokri, bhokri ka. That's how he used to say. So I mean, you know, there have been, according to me, every musician is a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a little bit hata hua. Yeah. So there, there's kind of different levels of psychosis that have been around for all time, and everyone's had a, a laugh at it, and everyone's. The There's best. a real joy to doing what we but do. But the best thing is when yeah. you just put these dummy lyrics there sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And if someone hears it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> if those scratches get out. Those scratches get out people will wonder what the hell is this going on. <laughs> <laughs> but do you guys tell the lyricists that this is not good enough? My tune is better than your words. Have you ever done that, Amit? It's not a I it's mean, not it's a not song contest. No. It's not a contest. It's not a contest. Yeah. It's a collaborative process. Yeah. Yeah, and of course, there's the the director also. Huh? He wants his meaning of his song and stuff. You know, so all that is actually the poor lyricist. More than the composer, I think the, the, the director has a say on what the what should be said on. I, I guess. But uh, what's the most sort of irritating? Is it is it having, um, let's say, the music company head saying ki hook line maro like or whatever? Hook line maro. Is that how you say it? <laughs> 
That's how they say it now. Fortunately, those music companies guys don't actually come in. They, they, they don't. don't no, they're not a part oh. of the process. No, no, no. Of At all. Okay, no, to clarify, there's a lot of people who are run by the music company people, but <coughs> no one. No one on this table is. No, no, no. That's no. amazing. That's wonderful to know. No. Tell me, uh, you know, so I was I was looking at these um, the roundtable with composers that they do with the Hollywood Reporter, and there the, the composers are saying how irritating it is when the director has a ear for music and thinks he knows music, but doesn't know it enough. You know, like music's a technical thing, Correct. and so he's saying, but yaha se ye ek udhar karo, and you know, like really. I had getting... one amazing conversation. Huh. Amazing. It's truly amazing. I obviously won't name the director. Um, came in said you know man this part is great this part is great can you take that part and just join it here it'll be amazing <laughs> so it's bizarre it's frankenstein but let's give it a go hmm. so we did it let's hear it it sounded like rubbish right there was no like the the, the it just wasn't going anywhere Correct. anymore Correct. right so so i'm like okay who should we is it so i said ek kaam kar i want to edit this he said what do you mean you want to edit it you edit no no i said i want to edit the visual he was like are you edit bhi karta i said nahi edit nahi karta He said, but you, you, so you're saying you don't know anything. You've never edited anything. I said no. He said, uh, but then how? I said, have you ever written a song before? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? You have no idea what you're Correct. doing. Just let it be. Yeah. You know. And he got it to his credit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you go through very frustrating experiences. ABC. Like we had an experience once where we were working with a producer <coughs> who was have a good ear for music. And a director who made a lot of hit films. We were working together with this guy is the producer and this guy is the director. So the producer would come in and say that oh I like the song and you know, all that you know nice melody and all that. And then the producer would the director would come in and say that man, I, what is this rubbish? Don't listen to him. He doesn't know anything. He just thinks he's very good. He says okay okay we'll change it. Producer comes back. You don't listen to that guy. He has no idea what music. <laughs> This went on one song took us two weeks. Yeah, you know, because of this whole uh, thing, and none of them in front of each other, all separately would come in separately. One would curse the other, the other would. They were just sitting there, you know, and ordering and food. There's a corollary to this because again, this is around the same time that we were. I think he knows what talking. <laughs> I know who he's talking about because we were supposed to sign that guy's next film, <laughs> and as I told him, this will happen. <laughs> just, just be aware of it. So we were just like, "Up, come here." So for me, there are like three. I guess there are three type of directors. There are one who know their music, who have a good ear for music, and if you are making, they are in sync with what you are doing. Their sensibilities are matching. That's great to work with. They are those guys are great to work with. There are other ones who don't know at all nothing. They won't interfere. They will let you do what you want. Great to work. And then it's great to work. Yeah. But the most dangerous ones. Who beach one? The beach one. Ah. That I think I guess we have more of that <laughs> in our lives. So that is uh, where the struggle happens, because uh, trying to convince him, uh, trying to get to get it into his head, his sensibilities, it's always been a, uh, a tough, tough task for me at least. I don't know about you guys, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. No, but he had one guy who would not take a good tune. Okay. Like it was his, it was against his religion or something to take a good tune. <laughs> I'm telling you, Shekhar and I have never been so. I'm not going to name the film or the guy much as I would love to, but uh, but. He just like there was no way if you if you literally if if we gave him a tune which was complete rubbish and one which was gold he was would attach himself to the rubbish <laughs> in a way that it was unnatural. Same, I've I've experienced this. But yeah, you know something. We, we, but we, having we, said that, we, the studio all of us. Ganda gana wo na. Because we had to get out of it. We were yeah. in it. We were and we couldn't. We, there was no way to get out of it except no, to finish the finish thing it, and move. Yeah. You know, so no, but we've all been situation. through boss, but we've all been through advertising. You yeah, met some yeah, yeah. crazy guys yeah. there. Absolutely. I met some. I mean, I love you. I do advertising even now, but you know, they, mm. we had somebody come and tell us that man, that sound effect with the thunder is sounding too American. So I said, what do you mean? It's sounding American. He says, yeah, the thunder is not sounding like Indian thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what do you mean? Then I had a brief from another filmmaker. Let's see. Basically, I want the song uh, to uh, basically, you know, have a little bit of hip hop, a little bit of rock. And some country music in it, you know, and a little bit of blues guitar and all. But at the end of it, it sounds like the Beatles jamming in a barn. I mean, like, what do we put cow sounds and all the back? What do we do? What is it? No, I, hey, chicken. Yeah, one extremely intellectual advertising guy comes to us, and this never happens in the film business because for whatever reason, so everyone's practical. It's a business, right? Advertising. There are still 
very many of the filmmakers are, and it may be Maggie that they're making the ad for, but it's art. <laughs> <laughs> and the voice drops and everything is. So we actually had a guy say, you know, so we had to put a sound effect, which is not our job, technically speaking. You're supposed to have a sound designer for that. But he was like, you know, whatever. There was a shot of some mirchi being thrown into a walk. And the guy, I swear he said this. I swear I'm not making this up. You know, guys, that doesn't sound like a. It doesn't sound like red chili is frying. It sounds like green chili. <laughs> So I was like, dude, you go home and fry some green chili. Record the sound and make it. that. Yeah, this would be some classic. I, I have had one experience. Uh, I, was, I was doing a lot of advertising earlier. And uh, I used to record three, sometimes two, sometimes three a day. Yeah, yeah. So, and we used to travel from famous to yeah, Octavius. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. We have, have to carry my stuff. So, I had one such recording at night. After I had finished my morning thing at one place, afternoon and evening one one place. At night, at night I had to go to Mikus and I was tired. I was like, we, we and I was working with Bobo. And we were tired and completely we were like worn out. And at level 11.30, we started on the next session. It was a 15 second ad of, I don't even remember the project, product. But as you said, that how uh, these agency people, they like to talk intellectual. They like to hear their own voice. And their voice and they mm -hmm. talk intellectual. Mm -hmm. And I am tired, the engineer is tired, everybody is tired, it's 12 in the night now. It's 15 seconds. Now, that this, it was a lady. She wanted something. She, we played that, played, we made the track, whatever. They said, we made the track. So the track was played, she heard it. And the typical advertising, the way they did, yeah. very hi-fi English and with a lot of technical uh, <laughs> jargon. jargon, jargon, for 15 to 20 minutes. Huh, for that, particular thing. She just kept talking and we were just listening. Okay, okay, okay. Miku is listening, everybody is listening. After 20 minutes, what Miku did, seriously, he just shifted one track, half bar and played it again. Half bar, one out of many tracks in the stem, just one track he shifted half bar. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> now listen, again 20 minutes he started again. Oh, the same God. thing. Mm -hmm. And Miku just kept shifting. <laughs> he did nothing but shifting. He just kept shifting the tracks here and there, which is, which was, I mean, it was very, very, very seconds to do. Yeah. yeah. You, then you realized that the whole track was full of voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear the track. And exactly, and, I was coming to that. Yeah, and, <laughs> that's what I was coming to that. So full of voiceover, and, yeah. and then suddenly, what the music that person <laughs> has been getting is at this level. This level, it's gone. Down. You can't even hear. So exactly, coming to that point, and everything <laughs> is gone. But, but on television, you can't hear anything. <laughs> and until two in the, it was like two, three in the morning. We were. Mind whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's 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 a very weird thing where you've actually worked hard on a mix, got it right, very happy with it. You play it. So don't worry. Give us half an hour. We'll do something. On it. You play the same thing back. Like, no! Mind blowing. No, you outstanding. Just outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. you just crank the volume literally like two dB and play the That's same thing. Same thing. Same, same thing. thing. It's, it's, it's amazing. You guys so many times. Guys. Like, let's step out for a cup of coffee. Usko bolte aadhe ghante hum log kare mixing. Come back and play the same thing. All kare. So because bol the bol re hum log camera mein bol re sab secret. <laughs> it's never happened. This is a fictional show. <laughs> but tell me this, you know, of course, advertising, you created, what the, your investment personally is, is, I'm sure, fairly high, but a film takes, you know, a year, two years, you put in all this work and you guys have all created magical music for movies that weren't magical. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and, and I mean, I still listen to Pashmina and I'm like, my God, what a song. Yes, and I didn't travel. Lovely. It's such a beautiful mm -hmm. song. And I know, I mean, you've talked about how it broke your heart when Bombay Velvet didn't work. I mean, oh. there was a such amazing Depres song. Depression. I went really? You worked really hard on that. Yeah, yeah for four, really five years. I've, like I'm telling you, there are films like Dave D or Kaipoche and Queen. They've, I have finished in a week. 10 days, week 10 days. And those that have gone out to be the biggest films. Like, yeah. yeah. And a year, I've spent four years. And in one day, it's boom, it's out. In one day, Friday it came out and Saturday it was out. Actually, so the thing gone. is that I so don't think that strange. our industry works beyond the film, which is really sad. You know? I mean, like, now there's a whole thing of rights and this and that. But the point is that if somebody had a little more control on the music, you could do other stuff with the music after the film is done. Yeah. You know, publish it, give it to, you know, maybe yeah. maybe Kanye West will use some part on his song. The point is that I don't think music companies do not have that kind of vision. You know, they yeah, just sit yeah, back yeah, on yeah, it. True. They keep all the music. It's all their catalog. Yeah, build up catalog. Your company valuation, 
will definitely go up. Correct. But what are you doing beyond the film? You know, and I don't think anyone has that vision yet in India. You know, it's, it's really changing. sad. It's, it's changing. changing. Yeah. But it'll take some time. Yeah, but people are at least the, thinking the about the it. The whole now, process you know? he's talking about of working on something for four years, A, it gave him a lot of joy working on that soundtrack. Oh, yeah. That is number one. The most important thing is to have fun making music that he that went I through. Had, had okay? a lot of there fun, are people, yeah. there are musicians, there are a lot of people who are qualified uh, to understand good music mm -hmm. who actually still talk about the Bombay Benson soundtrack. There are soundtracks we've done, we are really proud of. Film hasn't done well, music has not been marketed, fair enough. But sound songs, we are really proud of. Okay. So I think... And at the end of the day, you go back and you hear those you just songs. You hear the songs, songs good about, good about you know, it. That you spent that time, Correct. you know. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, but on the other hand, film clips sometimes when the soundtracks also worked beyond the film. Like Joom Barabar Joom. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that was a fantastic The music is still very a big hit. It's still a hit. Sure. There are songs sound. that are popular that people don't know what film they even, play. Even the film you did, you guys had done with Victor. Uh, Tushan. 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 Yeah. Fantastic Tushan. soundtrack that yeah. was. But the film, I, didn't, I don't think the film it, I mean, it, it's unfortunate, but it's true. And uh, I mean, for whatever it's worth, like even, even when the film did okay or whatever, like there's a, uh, a song called Allah Ke Bande that we spoke about. Right. Nobody knows really at this point in time what film it was from. You know, I mean, you possibly might. Hmm. But... Uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, even the, actually, I'm thinking about it. What film was it? Though? It was from Vesa 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 part two. Part two. Oh my god, Shashank Ghosh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Part one had not never been made. Yeah. Oh. Fabulous song. Yeah, so Fabulous. I mean, this is know. a twin quick gun, Murgan guy, right? Yes, it's a quick gun. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wherever we, we play this song in concerts, people sing this song, but no one, not many people and know which film it was. So oh. the truth of the matter is the music <coughs> does go out there. Like even if you perform Pashmina, you'll find people, people singing, singing with you. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they hear it, they live it. It may not be on the charts or it may not be the, you know, the song Correct. of the week or whatever, but th that music is not going anywhere. When it's out there, they actually do, do receive it. it. Receive. You know, if but, but do you, like Amir had once said that when you, uh, when his films flopped, which hasn't happened forever, mm. uh, but, no, 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 uh, no, no, ha, so which no, no, was like some, Mela, 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. But he said he mourns it. He said it's important to get it out of your system and just mourn a movie. I mean, do you guys mourn movies when they don't work? Like when your soundtrack... Some movies. Some yeah, movies. Sometimes you yeah. really feel terrible you know, when you the soundtrack's yeah. gone. It's completely yeah. gone. But then, you know, the thing, the truth of the matter is they are a lot more... It's their face and their sure. image and their, you know, their mm. persona that the people didn't come to watch. So that's a lot uh, more of a burden to sort of carry than, than we do. At the end of the day, we still have the payoff that Shekhar spoke of, which is making the music. I mean, that the process is the, the process, process is beautiful. beautiful. Of course, and we perform our songs, which is yeah. really that's where you take it. Yeah, beyond, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Know? Actually, that the process is what makes you feel the it's best. Just enjoy, enjoy the process yeah. and then remaining just leave it to leave it to the. Yeah, other. you yeah, feel really sad when a film gets over, you know. Especially you know when you're working with so Zoya and Farhan yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. Those experiences are mad, you know, with Javed Saab and all this crazy. That's so beyond your control. Now it's actually, over. Working not working. Yeah, you know, the time span is too short. Now it's just Friday, Saturday, Sunday out. Monday, you yeah. know the result exactly what's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And then the music also. Yeah. yeah it There's just, a translation yeah. happening there also. You know, the yeah, the day. level of its success depends yeah. depends on, on that. Yeah. On the music. No, none of you guys um, do the individual song thing. You don't do multiple <laughs> composer movies. Um, is there a reason for that? So that we could come here and then it should be said like. <laughs> <laughs> so I recognize that you. Yeah. Well, is that? Well, why is that? You so, know. Okay. Here's here's my view on the subject. So when we when we just <coughs> entered the business, Shekhar and I did a couple of. Things. You know, one song or two song or whatever, and and those did well for us. And I think that's a great way for new talent to sort of arrive. You know what I'm saying? I have no I have no qualms with it at all. I think it's a wonderful way for new talent to kind of be discovered. Right. Every, everyone needs a shot. Everyone needs a foot in the door. And uh, there's no harm done. And every 10, 12 years, you'll find that sort of sort of churn occurs. You know what I'm saying? And the good ones stick around, and then eventually, when yeah. they realize they're worth, you know, they start doing. You know, individual films. I mean, True. very few people are lucky enough to have a Dave D yeah. or an Amir that kind of establishes them immediately as someone who can do a whole film. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, so I don't, I don't see it as a as a bad thing. But I mean, obviously, it would be silly for us to be part of it. You know. But on the other hand, you know, with the film, there's so many parameters, especially when you're doing the entire soundtrack. Some songs are cinematic, some songs correct, are... Correct, correct. You know, that's true. not easy for, you know, I would hate, hate to say it for, you know, you, it's better to have one guy doing it. Yeah, like, so like that you example, understand it, the yeah, film. You know, what happens is you actually with uh, the director who has the whole screenplay of his film put together, he's got a certain mm -hmm. vision. You become a part of his journey also as a composer. You start seeing every single situation. Correct, you start... Correct. Living it, living, living it, it. Living and it. suddenly when it's like one song or two songs, then suddenly you feel you're just catering to that 
particular thing not even you may not even know what the film is what about what the film is all about right now there is a there is a whole school which just buy songs and the yeah. the composer or the musician has no idea what the song is for they know they'll make yeah. a glamorous video and they'll put it out there and it'll do really well or whatever so and and we can you know do either do more shows or or do more it's a different school whatever. of thought it's yeah, yeah but it's different it's made into a commodity which is kind of <coughs> sad in a way I feel but you know what you know? it's global man it's global no, that's the thing it's global it's, it's a global phenomenon thing it happens everywhere it's not uh, i mean on every album even if it's a single artist there are different producers different songwriters it's quite normal like these days there's, there's a new brief i want to want to take anybody's name but producers new brief is we want hit songs no i have i have got that like i never have heard this this, this such kind of brief ever before okay so we are fine this is situation ke liye correct ja raha hai but uh, we want hit songs should nah, how to make a hit song hook line mein hit 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 dal dena ho gaya na wo to ho gaya na matlab mera hit hit so you know keep on making different wo hit word leke you keep on making no, songs also where you know the days when you know films like shole and all were made when the soundtrack was released after the movie came out you know the record came out then some songs played on the radio but it was never that achhi opening mili you know i mean like what trust you have in your own you know film? what I, you know what you don't trust your film enough to say works. that oh man this film is going to be really good No, we have to have one hit song. Hit song. To establish it, and then maybe it won't be in the film also. What will come it in the end? It always makes sense if you try to make good music. Exactly. If, if you make good music, it will become a hit. See, here. the process. Yeah. I guess the process is there is a director who has a vision, there's a script. Just follow that vision, and whatever is right for the situation, mm-hmm. keeping the mind the situation and director's vision, and also the market. Correct. We go about creating the songs, and if it sits well with the situation, it, the film is good. People like the audio visual. It will be a hit. But now this process these days is ulta. Let's start with a hit song and then create a situation. No, because the difference is in the in the context that you are talking about, where uh. the song is is tailored <laughs> to the film, is uh. is sort of bespoke for the film. Uh, the film is, uh, I mean, they're part of each other. The right. song and the right. film are right. part of each. Here, what's happening is many times the song carries the film. Like the film may not True. be strong enough to draw people to the theater, but they will come to watch that visual of the song that they've grown to love. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's basically. Welcome back to advertising, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a jingle, you know? You're literally in the jingle business yeah. again. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, fortunately, not so much for us because all of us get films with some degree of flavor or texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So therefore, one composer is required, which is yeah. why they they come to us. There's a sensibility. Yeah. yeah. That that it has yeah. to have. You know. But uh, but many films don't need that, and then they put their OSTs together, and again this happens across the world. So I I mean I don't see a reason to kind of whine about it. Or no, or no. Martin Scorsese all his life, I think uh, he's been doing yeah, that. Yeah, uh, Tarantino does it. Tarantino so all his all his life, all in yeah. entire career. There's a certain thread that runs through the film. Like for example, in Mission Kashmir, you know the songs, the background score. it yeah. all goes hand in hand you know there's themes that are from the songs that come in there and i think that of course you can give to somebody else to do but it's you he won't have that commitment that you will have because you know it's all your baby yeah you invested you know, in a yeah, different yeah. way invested in a different way too so i'll tell you one of the things that has really i i've noticed while you guys have been hanging here and we've been talking is how m- much camaraderie there really is i mean uh, You all, of course, also work with each other. Correct. You've sung for him, and you've played guitar. He's sung for us. I've sung, sung for both of them. Both of them. So, is the music world sort of um, less insecure? Yes, I, I, I guess. Means in the sense we we kind of love each other's music. Yeah. yeah. I Me, mean, I I still remember when we recorded Jagumia. We played it for you first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recording correct, there, correct. So Shankar, correct. you were yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. In fact, uh, yeah. with SCL and us, we used to be working out of one studio a lot. Uh, Popular place. Yeah. Farad, Farad, what you're saying? Oh, not so Popular. We, no, 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 we'd have lunch together, together a yeah. lot. Yeah. Hear each other's stuff, and we'd be working see. at the back. I think we were working on Dilchata at the back when you guys were doing something. Yeah, different. yeah. And What? then we were the and like there were times where we just like man, I can't find the right kick drum for this, so just go to law and say <laughs> nice. because it was sample CDs <laughs> at that point, right? So can we just borrow? Yeah, it was like. But you're all vying things, for the same films, so not really. You know, it's no? not about. No, that. we're not in the sense at the at the same time. We kind of we actually fans of each other's music. Let's yeah, put it yeah, that way. True. Very we love each other's music. Yeah, you never hear to step on anybody else's toes. Yeah. That's not the way it works. I think you know, good music stands out. There's good songs that become hit. There's bad songs that become hits. Yeah. You know? And I also don't feel that a community of of uh, you know any any community of people can be respected unless you respect each other. Each other, true. You know, for whatever it's worth. And uh, everyone deserves that respect. It's not that it's not that you know we're faking it or whatever, but. You hear someone's work and it's phenomenal. You want to call that person and say it's phenomenal. Do you remember? I took you out for a beer. Yeah. And I heard Amir. Yeah. 
when you know when, uh, i just said man this is film, so fabulous first film that i released was released with <laughs> law and i took him out for a beer it <laughs> took me out for a beer and just we just chatted we just wanted to talk like, about how he makes his music yeah. and stuff yeah. and at the time so just i mean i released that's it that was the first film also we we also learning a lot from each other yeah we're also getting inspired a lot by each other's work and we discuss music we discuss what's happening in the film business how we dealing with people on a regular <laughs> basis and that's good no and i do strongly believe this is the reason i mean he's still younger in the business but yeah. you know he they've been around for 15 years sc has completed 20 years this year you know so we've been around so it's, you know we've done good work and we still do good work and we will keep doing good work you know so and you know and especially you talk about camaraderie especially the situation right now where you know our copyright laws have changed and all that needs a needs a certain cohesiveness cohesiveness among people who think that way you know we don't want to be a puppet or we don't want to be controlled by anybody you know not a record company not the copyright board or anybody but i would say so, for whatever's worth that all of that stuff has happened because of the camera the pickers of the camera yeah man we meet and you know say that we have to get this going you know i don't care if you've taken my film or you know it doesn't work that way it's not like it's not like anyone undercutting anyone or you yeah. know that that kind of stuff used to happen where one guy is doing a film and another guy goes with his pt and yeah, 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 whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. none of us does that stuff so. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just the visual is damn fun. Presenting song to the matchbox. Yeah, you know, matchbox, the rhythm, locking you know, the toilet, <laughs> carrying the TV yeah. in the back of the sometimes car. Sometimes you meet or, these, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like, like, like 20 years back, 25 years back, directors used to make movies about, you know, and then suddenly you hear stories about, hey, he was in the bathroom, he was in the bathroom. This is the most horrifying It's, story. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> it's there is some, yeah, yeah, how can they? So tell me finally. <laughs> Why, but? <laughs> so, so what's one pick one song from each other's music that you have really loved? That you said when you heard, like, damn, I wish I had made that. Can I start, please? Please. So, ek kudi, I oh, love that. Song. I just love that song. <laughs> and 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 my wife feels, my family feels that we still haven't composed a better song than Bol Na Halke Halke. Wow. <laughs> oh. No, no, agree. I agree. Oh, from his song, I love that first that song from Amir, which uh, who's that guy? Uh, he sang that like very funky kind of beat. Who's the what's the singer's name? Yeah, the husband and wife. Ah, Newman. 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 Newman, Newman which oh, he yeah, sang. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, I yeah. love that song. First guy, yeah. lovely. First time I heard that, I said, man, this is a new sound, you know. It's great to hear that. From their songs, I wish we had composed "Khuda Na Khuda Jaane." <laughs> I love that song. I just love that. For me, it's not songs, only songs. I think albums. Right, starting from "Dil Chata" to the "Kajrare" was a uh, nah, uh, bubbly. 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 The first album we had done with Jankar. Jankar. Yeah. 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 So I, I don't not one song like I'm a huge fan of their albums. Amazing, amazing work. Yeah. Nice. And because I'm the senior, mo- junior most here. It's been just. <laughs> no, it's no, been eight years. But I feel the same about Dave D. I feel the same. You know, so much all of his work. Every, all yeah. of his work. One. If I'm following anyone's work, it's you know, it's theirs. These two. You know? I don't follow anybody else's work. So all we want to hear what these guys are going to turn out next. It's oh, fun. Lovely. Lovely. That's so lovely. So yeah, it's a it's a group hug. It is a group hug. <laughs> <laughs> With the class teacher. <laughs> class teacher. <laughs> Thank you guys. This is such fun. Thank you. Yeah. Really. Thank you. So much fun. Thank so you. Much fun. Thank you. Go ahead and hit like, share, subscribe. Hit the button below. Subscribe to Film Companion.